Hotels and motels on The Sopranos. What's their significance? I'm not going to talk about every hotel or motel scene from the show, but I will be commenting on the ones I find to be the most significant in the grand scheme of things. Let's dive in. I was giving me tequila shooters. You're not mad, are you, Daddy? Tony almost gets shot in this episode, but Meadow protects him as his guardian angel. Or perhaps it was Meadow and that older couple that was arguing back and forth a couple doors down from their room. I gave them to you. I, I love you, Dad. Tony says to Meadow at dinner, Jesus, right under my nose. You think you'd know. And then Meadow says, No, Dad, you won't. No, Dad, you won't. If Febby had gotten a shot, Tony might have been killed that night. It was right under his nose. He didn't even know. Commendatori, you are already checked in. Commendatori. Like a command. I like that. That's respect. Tony, Christopher, and Polly go over to Naples, Italy to do business. We hear them talking about the Godfather before the trip, and they seem to have this romanticized version of Italy, and sort of this assumption that they'll automatically fit in. At least Polly, anyway. And when they get there, things aren't quite what they expected. Christopher starts talking about going to all these historical sites, but when he gets there... They're in the homeland, but he mostly just stays in his hotel room and gets high. We want the room with the stove and the refrigerator, and the two rooms on the sides. In The Happy Wanderer, and also Denial, Anger, Acceptance, we're at this motel. And it's a site for activity that these guys engage in, and things that they do in their line of work. Usually they just engage in what's called threat behavior. For example, when they go to the motel and demand that the owner's son-in-law, who's refusing to give the man's daughter a divorce unless he gets half of the family business, give it up and grant the divorce and drop it. So please, don't embarrass yourself any further. I'm not embarrassed. You embarrassed? It's also the site of the famous executive game, which brings together guys from New Jersey, New York, and civilians who have select access to their world for occasions like this. Oh, Johnny Sack! They must have free tokens at the tunnel. Calling all cars. Tony wakes up from a dream where he's walking up to an old house. He's speaking Italian and says he's here for the masoner job. When Tony wakes up from the dream, He's in his bed in a hotel room in Miami Beach. When he gets up to go to the bathroom, the bathroom, it's this overwhelming red color, this very deep red. I have to think that Tony's still dreaming here because otherwise that's some really weird bathroom lighting and it doesn't seem like it would be very pleasant for most people or anyone really. Long term or short term? Okay, just park it. Tony processes the fact that he has to kill Tony Blundetto. He also processes the fact that it's his inaction that at least somewhat contributed to all of this happening. I knew this was gonna happen. Why didn't you stop him? Our friend. Gotta go. When Vito's outed for being gay, he flees to New Hampshire and finds refuge at the White Mountain Inn. When he wakes up the next morning and sort of looks up and stretches, it reminds me of the episode Join the Club, where Tony wakes up into his coma dream and is also lying on the bed in a similar position and from the same point of view. Then, of course, there's the final motel that Vito goes to where he's killed by the Lupertazzi family and Phil walks out of the closet. Huh? 
Ho! There he is! In Luxury Lounge, Christopher temporarily gets away, unaccompanied by Tony. The whole Luxury Lounge thing, it really sort of was a rude awakening for Christopher. Being in this thing of ours, it gives you a sense of power, money, strength. You're one of the big fish. But here, all of a sudden, who are you? It really is a different world out there. In Cold Stones, while at her hotel in Paris, Carmela has a dream where she sees Aid and Cassette, and a man says, your friend, someone needs to tell her she's dead. Just like how Tony has processed things through his dreams, including while at a hotel, I mean, the test dream, that's the big one, Carmela did some dream processing of her own here. I say I thought he was your dad at first. There was a time when I wished he was. Polly talks about the past. I think there are some elements of sort of this, you know, nostalgia. Polly talks up Johnny Boy like he's, you know, the salt of the earth. I think we get a good glimpse at Tony's overall sort of state of mind after he finds out that Larry Barisi blamed the murder of Willie Overall on Jackie April Sr. Rather than sort of actually feeling relieved. Tony says, you gotta wonder what's next, huh? And then he walks out onto the balcony of his hotel room and he hears Polly laughing. Polly's sitting by himself in his room, just looking at the TV and laughing. And Tony seems to be really bothered by that. Not just bothered by the sound, but bothered by the idea that he doesn't feel this level of contentment. I guess at that moment, Polly's the happy wanderer. After all the funerals and the wakes, Tony decides to make a trip to Vegas. The biggest takeaway from Kennedy and Heidi from the hotel experience here is Tony's realization that his luck is better now that Christopher's dead. And the way that he like cackles and laughs at it, I think that sort of shows you the lack of remorse on Tony's part. It's also just sort of a reality that maybe he is better off without Christopher, as sad as that is to say. Tony got lucky, and then he got luckier with Christopher gone. He's dead. <laughs> so overall, when I say the significance of these hotels and motels on The Sopranos, not just for their physical location, but what they represent. If we think about all of these episodes and all of these scenes, what are they about? Death, culture, family, the past, money, power and status. It's all pretty similar. Different variables, different details, different geography, but many of the same themes that we deal with throughout the show. And sometimes when we get away, you know, stop and smell the gorilla shit, when they have a chance to get another perspective, sometimes the clearer picture you get, the uglier it can get. But you gotta say to yourself, it could have been worse. You could end up in some rat infested motel in Elvis country. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and would love to hear your thoughts.